This is the country where the East meets the West. It's a melting pot of food, culture, and history. It's supposed to have everything. Ancient ruins, historic bazaars, and pure beauty around every corner. Welcome to a brand new travel series. We'll be diving into the Turkish cuisine, exploring some iconic places, and we'll even find some incredible beaches. If it's your first time to our channel, then welcome aboard. If it's not, then it's great to see you again. Get ready, because it all starts now. I'm on my way now. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I am Trevor and this is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell to follow along on our adventures. We are in Turkey. Uh, we have wanted to come here for a long time and you guys have been requesting this for ages and we're finally here. the city of Fethiye. We're starting things off in this area called Kalish, which is a beach area. And I can tell you this, it's the last thing we expected to see when we got to Turkey. Look at this place. Like Anna said, the last thing I thought we would see here is a Caribbean looking beach. So I can tell you right now that this is our kind of beach town. The vibe here is just so chill. Everyone's relaxed. Nobody is in a rush at all. Yeah, this area here is like pedestrian only. People are for runs and walks and on their bikes. Lots of restaurants, speaking of which, uh, mm -hmm. we haven't eaten anything today and uh, I'm really hungry. So there are loads and loads of restaurants down here along the beach. We've just stopped in at a little cafe. We're gonna have some breakfast. I can tell you that like a traditional Turkish breakfast is a huge thing here. You can get like a huge spread of food. We're not gonna do that today. We're gonna do that in its own video sometime soon. Uh, but we did order a Turkish breakfast dish. So this dish is called Menemon and it smells delicious. There is some scrambled eggs in here, onions, peppers, there's some tomatoes, and it's supposed to be spicy. I can't wait to give it a try here. Mm, that's really nice. I like that it has a little bit of a kick to it. Um, the onions and the peppers are just cooked to perfection as well. It's, very, it's a very savory dish, and I've not ever had um, scrambled eggs. Uh, I'm gonna call it scrambled eggs, because that's what it reminds me of. Quite like this. I like the added kick of spice. Mm. That's really yummy. Like Trevor said, there's a lot of flavor happening, which is it makes it really, really interesting. Reminded me a tiny, tiny bit of shakshuka, which I think is an Israeli dish. Um, but in shakshuka, the um, the eggs would be baked rather than scrambled. But yeah, it's good. We got some bread here. It's gonna be yummy to dip it into that tomato sauce. I think we're in for a treat if this is our introduction into Turkish food. Oh uh, yeah. and also really affordable. We're here in like a super touristy area, mm -hmm. but we're still finding the prices really, really good. Um, so we had two fresh orange juices, two main breakfasts, and it was like eight US dollars. Can't get over the prices here. Now, if you happen to be wondering where we are in the country, we're in the southwest in this beautiful beach city called Fethiye, and there are 150,000 people here. Did not expect to find canals here either. I know, add that to the list of things that we didn't expect to see here in Turkey, but, um. There's a water taxi behind us and one thing about being here in Kalish is that you're a little bit far away from the old town in the downtown area. You can take taxis, you can uh, easily get shuttle buses that go by constantly, but I think a water taxi seems maybe the most scenic and most fun way to get there. Relaxing. It was nice and calm on the water. Um, it cost 10 yeah, lira, 
which is about 170 I think US dollars so not too expensive it took about a half hour and I think the boat leaves every 30 minutes as well right now we are in the main part or maybe downtown yeah, downtown old town I'm not sure what the difference is or if there is a difference but yeah that's where we are right now uh, we're nice we're in this like other boardwalk area mm -hmm. there's a bike lane there's lots of boats here it's a really pretty fountain over mm -hmm. there I see so that is a pretty big fountain and we were just discussing or we were trying to figure out I should say when's the last time we actually have come across the fountain? I know the first thing we thought it was Puerto Rico we saw some cool fountains there yeah. I think on the water uh, in the old San Juan but then I just remembered that when we were in Peru we went to this like oh. crazy amazing like kind of like a light show slash fountain show one night uh, if you haven't watched that definitely go back and do it because it was really epic. All right, besides a very steep incline, what have you gotten us into? I don't know. I don't know. Do we want to go, you can't even see it from here, up in the hills, I think, but following the maps, hopefully they're right. <laughs> We're trying to find some ruins, basically. Yes. Yeah, that are, I think are up in the mountains, sort of. Well, I think we found them, or this is the start of them, maybe? Yeah, check this out. Yeah, look at the sculptures up here. Look at this, carved right into the rock face, wow. And we're just getting started. This is the first one. It is. So we made it to the top. We bought our tickets. They're about seven, was it seven lira each? Yeah, seven, I think. So that must be like a dollar-ish, dollar twenty, something like but, that. But uh, you need to be in like moderately okay shape to do this. It's, it's pretty steep. I'm sweating. <sighs> Look at that. How did they do that? <laughs> How do you build a structure like that into a cliff? I don't know. So this area is actually referred to as Telmisos, which is actually the, the ancient name of Fethier. Um, and the people that lived here were called the Lycians or Lycians. I'm not quite sure the proper way to say that, but they were the ancient civilization that lived here starting in like the 5th century BC. And what we're seeing are their tombs. The one on the very top is the biggest and most intricate one, and it is called Emanitas, who was must have been a ruler in those times, but they really don't know much about the people or that guy in particular. Looks like you can go inside. Yeah, it's like a big cave, in, or a small cave, I should say, inside, but I don't know if I want to. It's no, kind of creepy. doesn't smell good. Also, what's with the graffiti, guys? This is like ancient civilizations, and people are graffitiing on it. Not cool. I think it's safe to say that this is the oldest structure we've ever stood in. Probably. Uh, and I just want to go back to dates again because one, I, I took notes and one thing says 5th century BC and another says 1250 to 546 BC. So that's even farther back. Oh. That's crazy. I cannot wrap my head around that. 5th century BC. Here in the center of Old Town, you're going to find this amazing fish market. It really sucks that I am not a fish fan because the whole concept is that you come and you buy your fish and then there's all these restaurants around. You take your fresh fish, you take it to the restaurant and they cook it for you. How cool is that? There are a lot of options here for fish. Wow. They look like they were caught today, huh? They probably were. <laughs> I'm guessing it's super fresh. Yeah. So if you are unfortunately like us and do not like fish, don't worry, there's a whole other side to this market of beautiful fruits and veggies. Yeah, and they also have like uh, spices and nuts. I just want to go shopping and buy some stuff for dinner. <laughs> it looks so good. So just the other day we were talking about how good Turkish food is with a local guy and he was saying that here, especially in this area, they have such a great climate that they can grow food all year long. So one reason the food, especially in this area, is so spectacular is because they can get fresh produce like all the time. So this is looking a little more like the old town we thought. Yeah, I, I, we've been down here a couple of times and kind of didn't turn in the right direction and now we just did and we're like, whoa, yeah. where are we? This is really cool. It's amazing. There's a lot going on here. There's uh, different shopping areas and we just saw our first bazaar with like Carpet a lot of bazaar. rugs. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. pretty cool. So yeah, let's take a look around. Wow, now this is actually what I pictured when, when I thought about turkey. turkey? Yeah. This kind of thing. Look at all the carpets and rugs. Yeah. <laughs> 
that was really cool. They actually just invited us in and they explained the whole process mm -hmm. to it to, uh, to us. So it's basically a woman's job to make the carpets, men to repair it. But <laughs> they said you can actually tell from the colors and the uh, types of uh, patterns that they're doing if they're typically like it was done by a younger woman, yeah. if it's brighter, if it's dark colors, or it might be an older or married woman. It's yeah. really, really interesting. I noticed in that uh, particular store, most of the carpets were darker. Yes, they were. And some yeah. of them are used carpets, I guess. Yeah, he said That's some of them are like almost antiques, but not quite. So yeah. 50 or 60 years old. We're now back where we started back at Kalash Beach because I think we want to uh, take in the sunset. We hear it's great here. We did hear that and uh, there's lots of bars here so we're going to see if we can find a like front row spot, maybe grab a drink and just watch the sun oh. set over the Speaking there. of that, look at the, look, look that way. We have found ourselves a spot with a pretty stellar view over there. Have some drinks. I went for a pretty basic one, a vodka soda, but I feel like I need a little bit of a refresher. Uh, but speaking of which, I know it's pretty basic, but is there a Turkish cocktail out there? I don't know of one, but if you know of one, comment below. So I, on the other hand, have got an Ephes Pilsen, and it is a Turkish beer from what I understand. I'm told it's the best one. At least that's what the uh, bartender said. Not bad at all, not bad at all. I call it the typical easy drinking domestic country beer in most of the countries we go to. All of the beer tastes quite similar, it's just light, it's perfect uh, in this setting especially. What, like Fethian so far has been treating us really well. It's kind of been a perfect day. It has a lot to offer here and just getting to sit here now and just stare at the sun as it goes down, it's pretty stellar. Well, what a way to kick off Turkey. Yeah. First this, impressions, right? Yeah, it's uh, amazing. I had <laughs> such a fabulous day. Uh, sometimes like, vlogging days can seem really rushed and a little bit hectic and like hard to get around, especially yes. in cities. Today just felt kind of chilled and relaxed. It we got a good. lot in, but like nothing felt overly stressful. Yep, it feels it good. Like, it feels yeah. good to be here. The vibe, it just, it's striking. Like it feels really good. To yeah. be in this city. Yeah, it's one of those places I could just come and like chill out for a couple months if I had the time. Yeah, and we like the separation of like this is the beach area where we started and we're ending this. Yeah. And then Old Town was a lot of fun. Yeah, and it, like going up to see ruins. Like, yeah, this yeah. place has everything. And basically. affordable, you know, and this is just the start of our whole turkey series. So we're going to take you guys through cost, a lot of food a as we get food. going. Yeah, for <laughs> so sure. That's going to be great. Now, if you haven't watched the last video yet, make sure to do that because we had. So much fun, but in the next video, what do you, th what do you think we're going to be doing? I'm not sure I think yet. we're going to stick in this area and just see what else it has to offer. Yeah, yeah. go exploring some more, maybe, maybe go see some beaches. Yeah, maybe, because like we'll it's pretty hot here right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, guys, now if you got this far in the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell that will let you know when our new videos come out. Leave us a comment as well. We always love getting comments, but for now, we're going to call it here. That is a wrap for day one turkey. All right, guys, that's it. From Fethier, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.